This person asks, can we clap along to worship songs during worship? I have seen at other Church of Christ churches and Church of Christ schools clapping during their worship. Do we not do that here because it is our preference or is it actually wrong? Now, <clears throat> I find some inconsistency in people with whom I otherwise agree on this issue. I know some people who believe that worshiping with mechanical instruments in the corporate assembly of the church is sinful, but they do not believe clapping falls into that same category. I disagree with them. I think it does fall into that same category. And here's why. <clears throat> We've talked about instrumental music a lot. And, and I try not to talk about the same issues over and over, especially specific ones like instrumental music. Um, I try to talk about love and forgiveness and grace and obedience quite often, but I think those are bigger issues. But instrumental music, there are a, a couple of Im extremely important passages one of which is in Ephesians. Ephesians 5, verse 19. We talked about this because it actually falls in the middle of, or the, the beginning of uh, the passage about the family when we talked about God's blueprint for happy families. But Ephesians 5, 19 says, Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord. The word that we usually focus on there is the word that is translated making melody. That is the word, it's a different um, ending on the word, but it's the, from the root word solo. Same root where we get our word psalm. But if you back up to the beginning of that verse, the very first word in the New American Standard translation of that verse is speaking. The word from which that is translated is the Greek term laluntis from the base word, root word, laleo. The word laleo means to utter words, talk, speak. Colossians 3, verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you with all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Those are the two big passages, and they're really parallel passages. And there are several different arguments which we've gone through before, but the one that I think is most powerful <clears throat> is that when Jesus or when God gives specific instructions, you don't change those instructions. And when God says speak, when God says make melody with your heart, that eliminates other forms of musical worship, including mechanical instruments. So, here's how this applies to clapping, in my opinion. <clears throat> if mechanical instruments of worship are wrong, and I believe they are, because they're not authorized, because God has given a specific instruction which eliminates mechanical in instruments. If mechanical instruments are wrong, then it's wrong to strum a string, like a guitar or a harp, or whatever, or to hit keys which punch strings, like a piano. It would also be wrong to hit a drum, or to use a stick to hit a drum. So I see no difference. I see no real distinction between tapping a drum and tapping my hand. I, I just see no distinction. I think clapping for music falls into that category. That's my answer. Um, now, there's a different form of clapping. There's a clapping that's not part of music. There is a clapping that is an expression from people, a cultural expression for affirmation. It's to say, I like this, I support this, 
I want to express my encouragement of this because this is a good thing. After a baptism, frequently we clap. When the graduates were introduced this morning, we clapped. That is a statement from the audience, this is good, we celebrate this, we like this, this deserves our recommendation, our commendation, our affirmation. That's applause. It's not musical clapping. And I draw a distinction. I don't think, I think it would be wrong for you to, to applaud the sermon, although I can see why you would want to. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, as, as part of worship, we shouldn't, be, we shouldn't be giving things during worship like applause. But for things separate from worship, like a baptism, or like a recognition of something that's different from worship, I think it's perfectly acceptable and appropriate. As part of music, I think it falls in exactly the same category as instrumental music. So, I hope that answers that question. 